Hey guys, Brendo Day Productions here, um, and welcome to part seven of the uh, tutorial notepad set of tutorials. Okay, so today we're going to be working with multiple forms. We're going to add another form to the project and make it associate with the regular form. We're also going to be discussing color dialogues and how to change the color of stuff. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is insert an options form for tools options. Well, actually it would be tools customize since we're going to change the background color of form 1. Okay? So, what we're going to do is go to this little button right here where it says add new item and click on that. And then we're going to select a Windows form. Okay? A Windows form is just like a Windows project with forms that look like Windows uh, forms. So we're just going to type customize customize. Okay? So add that. If you notice, it brings it up in this little menu and it titles it and everything. But that looks kind of stupid, so we're going to capitalize the C in the text. Now it looks a lot nicer. And, okay. So how this is going to work is we're going to drag in a couple toolbox items. We're going to drag in a label and a button. We're also going to drag in a text box. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have, um, wait, let me align everything perfect, nice and neat. Okay, and then we're going to change the form border style to make it look a little nicer. We're going to do that by clicking on the form, going into properties, selecting form border style, we're going to go to fix tool window. Okay, that looks a lot nicer. Okay, so what this is going to do is we're going to Type in the stuff, the color right here, and then we're going to press the button to change the color. So actually, we're going to press the button to change what's inside the text. And then we're going to make another button. We're actually going to insert two more things. Another button, sort of like the submit button. And then we're also going to insert a dialog into our project, a color dialog. Okay? So now that all this info is added, we're going to discuss it. First thing we want to do is change the text of everything. So label one, we're going to say color, space, colon, space, and then button for but the text for button one is going to be change, and then button two, submit. So we're going to the word of the color is going to be here, okay? Then when the change button, when you press this, the color dialog is going to show. It's going to change the color. And then once you press submit, it's going to change the background color of form one. Okay? So this is how it's going to work. We're going to enter the code for the change button. Okay? And as soon as you press this, we're going to want the color dialog to show. Now, what is a, a color dialog? Well, if we go to our regular notepad again, select format. Wait, no. Format, font. Nope, actually, it's not in Notepad. It's actually, we could use Paint for a good example. So I'm just going to open up Paint. Okay. And then you see this right here. So view color box. This thing down on the bottom is actually what a color dialog looks like. It just has a bunch of boxes with a bunch of colors in them. Okay, now you could choose one of the colors and have the program associate with that color. So we're going to show the color dialog. So it's called color dialog one, and then we're going to say dot to enter the command and show dialog. Now, if you notice from our previous lessons, it is a pink box, so that means it is an action, correct? So we're going to show the dialog, which pops up the dialog, and then we're going to say text box one dot text equals so this sets the stuff inside text box one it sets it equal to the color we select that's what we want it to do so color dialog one dot color now this is the color that is selected by the user when you select the color okay so this is going to be a really easy code here 
but if you notice as soon as we type this in we get an error value of type system dot drawing dot color cannot be converted to string now what this pretty much means is this is a string okay and this is a drawing dot color okay but they cannot be related so how do we change this into a string well we simply get the name of the color by typing the color we choose dot name okay so name is a string so now they're both strings and they equal out so textbox one dot text uh, equals the color dialog one dot color name we're gonna start debugging oh no we aren't <laughs> sorry about that okay so this is all the coding we're gonna need actually for this button and then for the submit button we're gonna type in more code okay so we're going to type form one because since we're using another form whenever we refer to something in form one we have to first type form one dot okay so form one dot back color equals color dialog one dot color okay so now what it's saying is as soon as we press the change button and select OK, it tells us what the color is. And then once we like the color, we select Submit, and it sets the background color of this form to the color we chose in the color dialog. So this code is pretty simple to change the background color of a form using a color dialog. But now, um, when we click on tools and click on options nothing's gonna happen so we need to click on customize okay and we need to show this uh, form now the code for this is really simple it's just like showing a dialog so it's going to be customize dot show that's it customize dot show and then so we're going to press start debugging So we're going to maximize the form, and then just press Tools and Customize. If you notice, our Customize window that we made pops up. So we want the background color to be a nice red. So once we press Change, we notice the color dialog pops up with all the colors we like. We're just going to select red and press OK. Now it says Color Red. That's pretty simple. And then we press Submit. And the background color changes to red. So what this does is you press change, you select the color, it tells you what the color is. If the color does not have a name, it does numerical numbers like that. But we're just going to select colors with names. So black, and you see black, and then we're going to press submit. And it submits the black to the uh, outer background, I guess you could call it. Okay, so the only problem is, yeah, there is no problem actually. So we select the color, press submit, and it works. So yes, that is how to use external forms and a color dialog. OK, so now we're going to do the same thing with the help about dialog. But this is going to be really simple. OK, so we're just going to press add new item uh, about box. That's all you're going to do, add new item about box. And this is just saying, um, this is it automatically replaces all this info with with uh, the info you assign when you build the project, which we're going to be doing in the next lesson. So we're just going to change the code for the about area, and just press about box one dot show. Okay. So now if we run the project one more time, and we press help about. It says about tutorial notepad, tutorial notepad version 1.0.0.0, copyright nothing 2009. That's because we haven't inserted anything in the program information. But I'm running out of time, so we'll get to this in the next lesson. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.